ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Paris CJ coming at you with some Derek Nadi gameplay. <clears throat> so, this dude is a beast, pretty much. Let me just cop right into the video real quick. But so, this guy, he's from Florida State, of course, number 91. Um, he's, I think, I mean, he's only like six foot, six one around there, but he's also 300 pounds. So, this dude, this dude's uh, pretty stout. Um, you know, big guy, you know, so I think they'll be using him, uh, as the, as kind of a, like a nose tackle, like kind of like what Don Tari Poe was while he had his tenure with the Chiefs, you know, kind of that run stopping defensive tackle, you know, get right in the, the trenches and, you know, stop some big gains. And, you know, I mean, of course the Chiefs had some problems with that. So I think that's uh, one of the problems or one of the necessities that they're really going for. In this draft class, you know, I mean, like, pretty much everybody that they picked up was on defense. Uh, so, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, defense needed help. We got help. And this is one of the most, like, this is probably one of the better additions of the draft, I think, in my opinion. Because I think that he will have an immediate impact on the field. Um, and Brett Veach has said this already. Uh, you know, he's probably going to be that one down, two down type of uh, defensive tackle. You know, he's going to get down in there the first two downs, you know, get in the running, uh, you know, running situations, stuff like that, help immediately. And, you know, he has the size, he has the strength to really, uh, you know, help on the defense. I mean, like, if you look at some of these snaps, I, I mean, like, double team right there. But if you look at some of these snaps, I mean, he really, he, like, he can just muscle through some people, you know I mean? It's crazy. This guy just has really, like, big strength. Uh, you know, he's not easy to move. Of course, I mean, like most linemen are, <laughs> but, or like, mo like most linemen are not easy to move, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say right there. But, so, I mean, pretty much this dude is a beast. Um, and, uh, yeah, so pretty much he's going to be an immediate impact on the field for the Chiefs next season. It'll be really exciting to see how he plays and uh, really helps out the defense um, for the most part. So, like I said, uh, he'll probably be in his running downs. Probably not so much as a pass or like a pass rusher, they probably won't use him as much, uh, you know, I mean, especially when you have um, recently mentioned Breland Speaks and Chris Jones, of course, on that line, uh, you, know, you know, like a pass, a defensive tackle pass rusher is not very necessary when you have Chris Jones, so, but anyway, you know, very excited to see what Derek Nadi can do um, coming in that defensive line front next season. It should be very exciting for him, you know, big guy, high motor, you know, he, he plays hard, so that's what that's what we were trying to go for in that draft, I think, and, uh, you know, I mean, like, it kind of shows when you get guys like Breland, Derek, and, you know, guys I'll be, I'll be talking about later, like uh, Darion O'Daniel, and, you know, some of these other guys, so that's pretty much it for the video, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, so Darian O'Daniel will be the next person I'll be talking about, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys later. Bye.